finished building the bases for these telescope mirrors, you can see the tube that we've got that we're going to use. We use a standard concrete tube. This is actually for my 10 inch mirror. These are the bases for my 10 inch telescopes. We've got one here that we're working on currently for an 8 inch telescope. You've got to take into consideration the 10 inch tube that goes through here. We'll suspend it with some plastic parts like that that we got down at uh, the plumbing supply uh, spot. They'll be the bearings that run the telescope in. We'll show you that a little bit later on on a different day. But the telescope itself, the base, will pivot on that octagonal square. We'll put a bolt through it. We'll put a, a bearing. And now our bearings actually are a little bit different than you'd think for bearings. They're just some of these. Uh, we'll buy them at the hardware store. They're simply a plastic piece with a, uh, a peg in them. They've got a small brad nail. You hammer them in, and they'll glide on that. And then down through the center, we'll run a half-inch bolt so that it'll swivel on the bolt and be able to rotate the base uh, on the other base. And then we'll put three feet on underneath so that we've got the um, so it'll level itself on on uneven surfaces. So there's your base style. Uh, We'll look at trying to get a set of plans printed on the end of the video, the location where we can download the plans and some pictures of these as we go. I've also finished off the edges. This is just melamine board. I bought it down at the hardware store. It cost about $25 a sheet, $27 a sheet. Cut it out. It took about, for these three, we've got a sheet and a half of the material. So for one telescope, it's going to take just a little less than a, a sheet, but you can't, can't buy them in partial sheets to cut them out. Mm -hmm. Um, slightly larger for the 10-inch telescope. My 12-inch my, uh, telescope is significantly larger as well. Went down and bought handles. Anyway, I went down to the hardware store and I purchased a float. That was less than $5. All I needed was the handle. We will mount that handle on the back side of it so that I can carry it. We'll do the same thing. After we've got the tube done, I'll mount one of those uh, at the center of its mass so I can carry the telescope. It's very easy to carry. Uh, we'll, we'll also paint the inside of the tube. The tube will be painted a uh, black color. Now the insides of these tubes are waxed, so we have to use an alkyd enamel so that it'll hold on. The outside of the tube will go ahead and run with a white latex. We'll use a, a gloss white latex so that we can see them and mount all the hardware that's going on. And, and you'll see those different forms as we proceed through this uh, telescope assembly project. Now you can see the actual base that's been finished on the telescope. Uh, you see it's got octagonal uh, bases, two pieces of the base. You saw that on the materials list. This, These are 20 inches each direction across there. You see the upright pieces. I've also notched into the upright pieces get them to where you can actually see them just a little bit better. The upright pieces have notches taken around them in the top. You can see now on this one I used a four inch cap, an outer cap. Typically I will use an inner cap. The inner cap just has the lip around here that sits on the outside. It really doesn't matter. The inner cap I like a little better because it doesn't grind on the inside of this one. This one moves back and forth that the other ones don't, but it doesn't really make a bit of difference. Uh, you can also see, as I've assembled this, the small plastic pieces. You buy those at uh, Home Depot or Lowe's, small, they've just got a brad, you tap them in there. I've got the same thing located on the bottoms. They're located down between in here, I've got six of them located around the inside. Also, you notice the feet that I've put on them. They're just put together with grabber screws uh, so that they uh, stay on. The grabber screws barely come through on the other side if I use sheetrock grabber screws, but the um, plastic pins tend to keep them up away so that they're not a problem there. I also put a notch in the back side of this so that uh, when it's sitting, uh, horizontally I can put it all the way down uh, rather than being limited by that restriction. You can see the float handle that I used from a cement float. Easy to purchase, disassemble. They're just simply screwed through from the back. 
in fastening the uprights to the octagonal base. You see how I've just marked them and screwed them through. A little bit of practice and some using your head will be able to uh, put those on in an appropriate manner. I also like to put a little bit of paint around these edges. You can see the, the grayish paint that I've used around the ed edges. Just simply helps it be a little nicer and a little bit more waterproof even though I have yet to be in a real significant rain you know, when I'm doing a star party. But they're relatively easy to build. They rotate really well on the bases of these. The bearing system that I've designed for those works really well as, uh, when the telescope is on it. The only other thing that you've got to know, really, and I can't show you this other than to just explain how I did it, is on the inside, in order to put these screws and hold it into the tube, the tube won't hold it. So what I did is I took a piece of uh, wood on the inside, I took a round piece of wood just slightly larger than the diameter of this, and I took it on a sander and I sanded it to the exact shape of the inside of that tube, slid it up in there and, and grabber screwed it on so I've got a little bit of force to be able to hold that one as well. As well as your handle, uh, I've just got some screws running up through the uh, telescope material itself. Now, one of the things that you've got to be real careful of is that when you put this together, that you get it properly balanced. On this one, I didn't have my tail rad up on the front of it when I started, and so I accidentally mounted my uh, material a little bit too far back. Well, that's easy to cure. You can see on the back section right here. You can actually put a little hook. I've got a couple of weights. When I'm out uh, on my telescope parties, I just insert the weights on there. There are a lot of different ways that you can do that. Uh, you can take the feet, these old pipe uh, flat plates that are about that big in diameter that you can put a three-quarter inch pipe in, fill it with sand, and it acts as a handle out here as well. Uh, but now, once I've got it like that, it's balanced perfectly with a little bit of excess weight on the tail end of it. So there's your telescopes assembled. They're very easy to do. Uh, my other tutorials show you how to actually grind the mirrors, assemble them, build the, the base sections. Uh, but that this one here is just strictly for building the base of the telescope itself. You get a good look at it in its entirety there with its octagonal base, its ability to rotate very smoothly. With the bearing system right there, it's very smooth when you're actually using these. But that's the rest of the telescope, as you see.